This is a chicken roti from Trini Styles. I went there. Oh, shit. <laughs> I went there today. And I got this. And y'all already know. Yes. So let's give it a try. I want to share this moment with you guys. Has all those films sort of come across mm. semi autobiographic? A large portion mm. of the film delves into each hero's background, the mm. sort of introduce the audience to the new martial arts. Only thing, unfortunately, Stephen's journey to I know this is a lot of bone, not a whole lot, but my first the bite, weapon, I had to watch myself. I bit right into a bone, a like little small bone. I gave it to my dog. This is a chicken roti. Usually I get the shrimp roti. But this one, um, you have to be careful because sometimes you might get you might get some bones in there. Mm, oh, mm, 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 mm. See? See some bones. It's bone and it's meat. Mm. It tastes good as well, seasoned. So instead of doing that, I'll definitely get me a shrimp one next time. Says, when I eat the shrimp one, I can just bite into it. I have to worry about nothing. <laughs> this one tastes good. It's just basically a curry chicken. Curry chicken. Mm. Yes, I have the bone. And Carly's. Let me give it to my dog. <clears throat> I love the... I don't know it's not called a tortilla, but I love the roti tortilla. We got some chickpeas in there. All right, they give you it's like dark chicken meat. Hold on a second. Mm. It's kind of falling apart. You got a hole like this. It like falls apart. So you gotta, like, hold up but it's dark meat, light meat. It has potatoes in it. So it's very, it's something that's going to definitely like keep you full. Mm. I don't know if you're watching a breakdown or maybe like a review or a vlog about um, 90s karate stars and stuff like that. Getting back to those kind of movies, that kind of energy. This channel is called um, Viking Samurai. So basically, you're talking about all the um, the low key and high key '90s uh, stars that were in karate stars, '90s martial arts action uh, actors and stuff. Look I'm gonna see if he got a video on um my girl uh what's her name Cynthia Rothrock. For example, that's my bitch right there. I like her. Another bone. Mm. Tastes good, but I'm definitely gonna get. I'm gonna stick with the shrimp roti. The statement had final edit and sound check, which essentially meant you could make sure you look good. There's just too much bone. I thought they um, would be like they would take the meat off of the bone. You know what I mean? If they took the meat off the bone, it'd have been more better. But you really have to watch yourself eating this. But it is good. It's bomb as fuck, though. That's just the way it goes. Just keep it having the nose, the charisma, the looks. That's sort of mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Unfortunately, this career and early buzz game can be perfectly fucked in this quick and I love Trini food. I just barely scratch the surface. Mm. There's so many different things to get. We're going next bone right here. You gotta bite this carefully. I'm gonna get this to my dog. Stony! You wanna try the best you can. 
So I encountered many bones. <laughs> so it basically curry chicken, potatoes, and chickpea. Mm. Good. I'm trying to figure out which movie I want to see. Brandon Lee, Rapid Fire. Um, Billy Blanks, Karate Janitor. I think it's called Showdown. Mm. Bruce Lee. I don't know. I do want to see the one with uh, Dolph Lundgren and Brandon Lee. I think I'm going to try that one. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to find some inspirational karate movies. Ooh, I know what I'm going to watch. Surf Ninjas. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm going to watch that shit. So, for this mukbang, from Finny Styles, I'm going to give this roti a... I'm going to this roti a 7.5. No. How about I give it an 8? I give it a roti at 8. Flavor is good. Bomb. But I have to take two points off because of the bone. So there's like big bones, little bones. See? It's a lot of bones. So that's the only thing. You have to be careful. Like one per a person who's not familiar with eating roti will have to be careful. I'm pretty sure everybody makes it different. Maybe some people actually do take the the chicken off the bone, but um, you know, it tastes good and everything. But just chewing into it, you just have to really be careful. You don't want to choke on no bones. You don't want to, you know, accidentally swallow a bone or something or get one stuck in your gum or something. You know, so um, just kind of chew it carefully. Make sure you chew everything thoroughly. You definitely don't want to swallow no bone. In addition to that, he's also trained and competed in gymnastics. Although having two martial arts champions and instructors in the house while growing up, Marky Costa said I definitely will um, in fact, get the shrimp protein. The shrimp protein is a 10, 10, 10, 10, all across the board. Mm -hmm. no, right, um, this is very bony, bony, bony. But it tastes good, you know. But um, yeah. mm. so, my suggestion is it may take a little bit more time, but take all of the chicken off of the bone and just make it be lone chicken, like you know. Take the curry chicken off the bone, and it'll be a ten. I don't know, it's good. The knife. Because it's hard to cast the potato. Is, I this I keep me full. You know? It does break apart. This is very delicious, but I have so much left in here. <laughs> I'm just eating up to the feeling. It says there's a certain Diesel and Johnson, for example. But put studios off on other mm. things, which is seemingly the case for Mike Acostas. This undoubtedly worked against him. Not right enough to play mm. on the bone. Not Asian enough to play those roles. This is what's left. This is what's left. I don't know if my dog cares for this, but let me see. As far as the flipper and myth article goes, he like roti. Let's see if he eat it. <clears throat> That would definitely have worked against Philip Yeah, he not really eating <laughs> I thought he was trying to try. Oh, yeah. Oh, he took it. Oh, he ate it. Oh, 
So let me find out. Make her find out my dog like roti. That's crazy. All right, you can have the rest. The rest of the the bread. Doll. Okay, the rest of the bread. That was good. That was really really good. This kind of ginger. I like this one better because it's not as sweet. The last one I had was very 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 sweet. So this one was not sweet. Well. It's just it a regular flavor, like but I could taste a lot of ginger. It's not like super, super sweet. So I like that. Um, I like it. I don't like it when it's too sweet. So this one's a much better batch. I give this a 10. Mm. So the next time I come back over there, um, I am going to get the shrimp roti, and I'm actually going to try some doubles. I was going to try it today, but I was like, let me save my money. So the next weekend, I'm going a, I'm to a get uh, shrimp roti, I'm going to get doubles, and I'm going to get the two drinks. I'm going to get that next weekend. <clears throat> Tomorrow, they have the Sunday brunch, which I already did that last Sunday, this past Sunday. So today is Saturday. This is what they serve on Saturday. They serve everything. Got like a open menu, you know, doubles. I think I saw the menu was doubles, curry bowls, and stuff like that. So it was pretty good. I enjoyed my meal. I just wanted to share that with y'all. I'm going to finish watch the rest of my um, 90s karate documentary. Peace.